Hello there, Jeremy Weiss here with Weiss Tech Hockey. You've probably noticed, but we are broadcasting from the basement today. I've temporarily had to move my office down here, so the next few videos will be coming from the basement. Today I wanted to talk to you guys and show you guys a little bit of a drill that is, I call it high-low shooting. And it's a really good, it's a great drill for shooting, it's a great drill for warm-ups. It gets the goalies moving side to side, as well as works on your player's shots foot speed uh, and it's just a really good quick pace drill to get everybody going uh, I particularly like it at the beginning of a practice so here's what the drill looks like I've already gone ahead and set it up for us so we're not wasting a lot of time placing cones in the right places you'll notice we have nine cones set up in the neutral zone the cones are placed on the on the neutral zone dots and then uh, on all four neutral zone dots plus the middle dot and then we've just spaced the other cones equally in between those uh, we've got four lines, so divide your players up into four groups and just have them uh, in each of the four corners with pucks. And you'll also notice that we've got two short lines and two long lines. And as, you, as we get going, you'll see what I mean by long and short. It doesn't have to do with how many players are in each line, but the direction and the path that they take during this drill. So here's what the drill looks like. We'll start with, uh, on the whistle, all four lines will leave at the same time. So the short line will take a shorter route, so it's a shorter direction. Uh, what they'll do is they'll skate with the puck out and do a weave pattern through the first row of cones. As they come around, the circ or around that final cone, um, depending on the age and the skill level of your players and what types of shots that you're wanting to work on, I usually insist that my players shoot um, you know that they don't skate inside the top of the circles before they shoot. I like to stress that they shoot with their feet moving uh, and then I also like them to use snap shots or wrist shots and like I said depending on the situation and what your team is needing you might decide that they want to work on you know you want them to work on their slap shots or whatever type of shot but stress that they're shooting in stride and um, you know make sure that they're taking a shot from from far enough out because like I said before this is a goalie drill as well. So they'll step in take the shot okay now as this is happening the long group the long line is going out to the middle set of cones and doing the exact same thing coming the other way okay and as they get to the top of the circle they're gonna let their shot go as well okay so it's pretty straightforward up until that point now, while this is all happening, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can change the colors of the... Uh... Okay, here we go. So while this is happening, the other line is doing the exact same thing. The other two lines are doing the exact same thing from the other side. So the short group will come out, again with a puck, do a weave, come around, and they will take their shot. shot here okay and the long group will do the exact same thing going to the middle cone middle row of cones now as you notice and this is what you're gonna to want to point out to your players okay and if they take a shot come around take the shot okay as you notice in the middle group, the middle row of cones, there will be some overlapping. So as your players are flying through those cones, um, and what I would also stress with your players is have them keep their feet moving through the cones. So this is a great chance to work on those, you know, quick feet crossovers. Uh, you know, get your players moving and have them explode as they're coming around that final cone to simulate them driving wide around a defenseman and, and taking a shot on net. But as they're coming through this middle row of cones you'll notice there's some overlap. So you're going to have to stress that your players keep their heads up, which is another crucial aspect of, of hockey. So as this drill is going, it's a, it's a quick pace drill. Um, have your players switch lines so they're alternating between the long and the short lines. And uh, you know have them rifling their shots. Don't let them come in too close on the goalies because we want them being able to work those shots uh, and have the goalies be able to move side to side and feel these shots. So that's, uh, that's the drill. Um, 
like I said, it's a great drill. I really enjoy doing it, especially at the beginning of practice. Gets everybody moving, gets some good shots, gets some good uh, you know goalie action side to side. And uh, overall, it's a it's a great drill that you know hopefully one that you can incorporate into your practice and uh, you know get some get some good experience out of. One thing I almost forgot to mention: if you're watching this video on YouTube and you liked what you saw, feel free to go ahead and give us a, a five star rating. That would be greatly appreciated. And also, um, if you go to our blog, which is, I'll, I'll put the link in the YouTube video as well, but www.weisstechhockey.com slash blog, um, there will be a printout for this drill as well. So you can print it out, bring it to the rink with you if you need to. And uh, it also has some printouts of the other drills that we talk about on the blog as well. Uh, so hopefully, like I said, this can be of great use to you, and uh, we look forward to continuing to uh, provide these videos for you guys. Thanks.